We gather together facing the biggest debt our country has ever owed. That debt endangers our government, hurts our economic potential, and threatens our children and grandchildren. Moreover, if you like your country to be able to stand up to enemies like ISIL, help its seniors with programs like Social Security, and help us all get from here to there with a good transportation infrastructure, then you won't like where America's headed. Our increasing national debt threatens these functions of government and much more. If we don't stand up to our debt, stop overspending, we'll ruin what so many generations before us worked to build and the hopes of the generations to come. Instead of launching the next generation of workers and entrepreneurs after the crisis of 2008 and 9, we launched the debt-paying generation. Let me say that again. We launched the debt-paying generation. I see several out in the audience who are in the debt-paying generation. Rapidly growing debt will press down on their dreams and opportunities throughout their life. In the meantime, the steady march to a larger debt will continue. When it comes to the dangerous debt, our president can and should do and will have to do better.